Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, today I have two motherboards and this will be a quick video. Um, somebody asked on the channel, on the comments, uh, to make more videos and uh, show more content, etc. The problem with the content is that my opinion is that uh, I would like to show every time something different, not every time the same and the same jobs again. And uh, it's, it is a problem actually, because we don't know what kind of job will arrive on the shop. So actually the content to be different, it's very difficult. Anyway, today I have, uh, I, I, this is just an example of, of what um, problems I have with the videos. Um, I've been working uh, on the on previous days on two laptops and uh, I have two motherboards. This is from an Asus VivoBook uh, laptop. I will uh, write the description of the motherboard on the video so you can check the motherboard. And also I have a Dell motherboard from a Vostro. I don't remember the model, this one and uh, both of them uh, are dead actually so let me show you what what happened here um, this this uh, laptop came uh, came in without powering on the the customer told me that uh, he plugged the the power adapter to the dc jack and he saw sparks on the dc jack and uh, the main relay uh, fuse of his house dropped down uh, so this indicated that w the, that it was a short actually on the charger itself to in order to turn off the relay of his house. Anyway, when I checked the laptop, there was no short here. Sorry, I had an interruption. Anyway, I was uh, telling you that uh, this motherboard actually, when I was measuring, everything was okay. Uh, I mean, the, the, the input circuit was okay the 3.3 volts were, was present the bq chip had all voltages everything was okay there was nothing you know indicating a short on the motherboard apart from the fact that <laughs> this coil here i have let me show you on the microscope i have lifted the coil in order to do a safe measurement it was measuring zero ohms let me show you here So this coil, there is a, a driver here and a coil below of the driver. And I lifted the coil in order to measure the resistance. Um, and then I injected voltage and I saw that uh, the, the edge of the CPU here uh, was burning hot. So uh, actually this motherboard is, um, has a shorted CPU. Um, and there's nothing we can do to help this customer. Um, let me show you uh, what was the, the first initial um, inspection. So I have the, my power supply here, so you can see with my droid camera here, the power supply. Uh, let me... Um, let me make the screen a little bit smaller um, not this way sorry let's put it back again and on the main scene i can show here yes the droid camera let me unlock this and move it a little bit Make it smaller so you can see the camera also here let me put it on the other side in order you to be able to see the multimeter also okay so um i have the the power supply let me raise the voltage here to 19 All right, current around 2.5 amps. 
And let's see here. If I plug the DC jack inside here, what you see is actually a current draw of around 70 milliamps and then it drops to zero. So everything seems normal. Not actually normal. When you first plug the, the DC jack, you don't have any uh, high consumption more than 10 milliamps. Um, and if we measure with a multimeter the voltages here on the DC jack, we have 19 volts. Uh, also, on the keyboard connector, we have the 3.2 volts for the power button. Everything is okay if we measure. Let's go to the BQ chip. If we measure the BQ chip uh, here, where is it? Here. Let me measure the 19 volts. This is the 6 volts here. This is normal. 19 volts are coming to the BQ chip. Uh, the 3.2 volts. Uh, where is it? Anyway, everything is okay here. Um, and let's remove the current from the DC jack and measure in ohms mode this coil here. You're going to see zero ohms. So zero ohms on a coil is not a good sign. So something is shorted. And this coil is actually driving, um, is giving actually power to the CPU here. And the GPU actually, which is embedded inside the CPU. This is an AMD CPU. Um, and the rest of the story is known. Let me lower the current, the voltage. let's say 0 0.9 volts and this actually needed a lot of amps in order to be able to see what's going on so if i plug my ground here to the usb and let me show you with a the thermal camera and i plug here let me raise the current and check here This is the CPU. On the edge here, uh, there is the short. If I remove the power, it goes away. And if I connect again, you can see it's burning hot here. I remove it, it goes away. Connect it, shows up again. Remove it, goes away. So that's the story with this motherboard. Let's go to the other one. This is more complicated because on the initial inspection, there were two problems. Um, this is from a Dell motherboard and this came in again without powering on. And there is a story also with this motherboard. Um, the customer actually, let me show you, give me one moment. Because there is always a cause, uh, it's not all—it's not always a, a malfunction of the motherboard itself, you know, by the manufacturer. It's—it's it's also a, 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 some some problems are caused by the user. Uh, so the customer bought this Chinese external DVD drive, which is actually comes with uh, a cable. As you can see here, there is this cable has um, two USB ports and there is also a DC jack providing power to this thing. And he, what he did is actually plugged the USB port here and he used two USB ports to power on this thing. It didn't power on, it didn't work. So what he did, he found on his... Uh, 
uh, on his closet an old uh, power supply. The ones, the one, do you remember these old power supplies that they used to sell in electronic stores that had a switch to switch the voltage between 1 and 12 volts? 1, 2, 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts. This one's supposed to, to work with 5 volts. I don't know what he did. He probably messed up with the switch and he put the switch on 9 volts, 12 volts, I don't know. And what he actually ended up doing is... Let me show you here. Let me remember where was this, because I worked on this motherboard a couple of days ago. Um, not here. So, yeah, here. I think it was here. Let me see. It was, um, I think it was here. I don't remember. I removed a, a 5 volt chip responsible for the USB which was shorted and I removed it from somewhere here because it was, uh, you know, getting hot. I think it was this one. Let me see. Yeah, it was this one here. So anyway, this chip, there was a chip here, uh, it was, it's a 5 volt chip, uh, a regulator for the USB port. But the problem with this chip, um, this chip shares the 5 volt always power with a DRMOS here. This DRMOS, which is new, I replaced this DRMOS, despite the fact I was measuring again 0 ohms to the coil. Uh, this DRMOS was shorted actually. You see here the two cups, one was, you know, kicked a little bit uh, to the right, uh, replacing this chip. This is a new chip. The old one was shorted. Actually, the, 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 the drain was shorted with uh, the, the ground here. Uh, but nevertheless, this didn't fix the problem. Actually, when replacing this chip, the other one was getting hot. The, the USB, I removed it, it was shorted. And after removing this chip, uh, you know, it was obvious that the, the GPU was uh, getting hot here. I can show you with the multimeter. So if we measure in ohms mode, this coil here. I don't know if you can see the multimeter, it shows 0 0.4 so it's 0 ohms on the other side of the coil it's again 0 0.5 ohms so if we inject voltage here let me show you so taking the let me lower a little bit the car we don't need so much here so taking the holding let me switch to the thermal camera so i'm injecting voltage now and check here this is the cpu removing the power put giving power again removing giving power again so as you can see again we have a problem with the cpu chip actually it's the gpu which is embedded on the cpu and this motherboard is also dead. We cannot do anything about this, unfortunately. Uh, so this is the reason uh, I, I, I just thought, let's post this video. This is the reason why I don't have a lot of, you know, new videos to show up. Because there, there are no interesting jobs here. I mean, okay, so, showing you that uh, a motherboard is shorted on the CPU. Is there any point of doing this? I mean, okay.
probably you you will uh, want to know the procedure of how I end up here. But it's really easy, you know, if you measure the coils and the coils measure is zero, there is an indication that, that there is something wrong on the other side of the coil. There is no other explanation. A coil to be zero ohms. Anyway, so that was the video. Thank you for watching. I will uh, write down the descriptions of the motherboards uh, on the video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next time. Bye.